Hello, I'm Natalie Glasson from the Omna Sanctuary. This week's channeled message is from Archangel Metatron and it's entitled Transforming Doubt. Greetings to you, beloved beings of light. I am Archangel Metatron. It is a joy to be in your presence today. And as I am present with you, I invite you to acknowledge your own being and body. I invite you to gaze within and ask yourself, how much do you trust in my presence? At what percentage do you trust 100% in my presence? Or do you trust a slightly lower percentage? As you ask this question of yourself, you begin to acknowledge your level of trust. You may also ask yourself, how much do you trust in the Creator? How much do you trust in the universe of the Creator? How much do you trust in yourself and your soul? As you gain a percentage for each of these questions, you begin to understand the vibrations within your being. To doubt is natural. You live in a reality that has so many different dimensions. There are things that you can see, feel, touch, sense, hear and taste. There are things that you cannot. Or maybe things that you sense with your inner energy. And yet there are so many worlds and dimensions. And many are existing in your reality. It is natural to distrust to a certain percentage. However, there is a need to build your trust so that you can align your energies with your truth and exist as your truth upon the earth. It does not matter if you doubt my energies. And it does not matter if you doubt the creator or the universe of the creator. It is important to first build your trust with your own inner essence, your soul, your divinity, whatever you wish to label it. When you increase and develop your trust in yourself, you align with your vibration of truth and everything becomes and flows with greater ease and divine perfection. So in many ways, it is not about us on the inner planes. It is not even about the creator. It is not about those around you. Your greatest focus to aid your ascension and to reveal your truth is the divinity within your being. So at what percentage do you trust yourself and your soul? Is it more or less than 50%? Doubt comes from experiences of disconnection. 
experiences of wounding. And pain. The more you focus on bringing healing and love to these aspects of yourself, your own trust will naturally develop. It will become an energizing vibration within your being that spurs you onwards and inspires you. Now, doubt is something that you are choosing to hold on to. When you think of yourself or your soul and you connect with the doubt, the distrust, what is it about your soul that you distrust? What are you saying about your soul in your mind? For yourself in your mind. It might be that you're not good enough or you don't deserve love. Or you can't do it, you can't achieve anything. You might feel repelled that you're pushing yourself away from your soul. Maybe you have an idea that your soul orchestrated something that caused you pain. As you begin to explore this, asking what is the origin of your doubt? Already you are dissolving and transforming that energy of doubt. Your simple seeking to discover the origin of your doubt begins to unlock it and release it. You may achieve this practice and gain an understanding or you may not. The simple connection with the doubt and allowing it to fill your being, sitting in that doubt with the focus of transforming it and understanding it supports a natural shift. And you can follow your inner guidance or your intuition as to what is needed and what you need to do. You can also call upon angelic healing vibrations to surround you and penetrate your feelings of doubt connected to your soul and yourself. You may find that there are many voices of doubt within your being and each may require you to sit with them until they transform, or they simply may need to be recognized and then disappear by themselves. And you can experience this in meditation and maybe make it a daily practice for a few days. Allowing that doubt to rise, giving the space 
for doubt to rise up into your awareness. It may come throughout the day. You may notice when you're anxious or doubtful or not able to trust in yourself, not able to make a leap of faith. And you can recognize this as the release and the transformation of your doubt. And you'll find that the energies within you feel less scattered and less scrambled. And there feels like a ray of light or a vibration that you are locking into that is a higher vibration of yourself and your truth. And each day, at the end of the day, you can connect and ask, what is my percentage of trust in myself and my soul? And you may notice that it is rising. It may dip down and then rise up more. And there will be a clarity. Because doubt creates confusion and chaos. It is like a scattered energy and a scrambled energy. So as you begin to release it, everything becomes so much clearer, more grounded and more aligned. And a peace, a clarity or a purity emerges. You can allow us to share our healing vibrations, to propel and boost your experience. At this time in Ascension, you may notice that many are doubting. Their belief is not quite so strong as it was. They're wondering, questioning. And you may be experiencing the same. This is natural, everything is changing. You are on a roller coaster of ascension, trying to transform your being at a high speed. When change is afoot, doubt is often its companion. And so with the transformation of doubt comes greater clarity. My love is with you eternally. I am Archangel Metatron. I thank you. Thank you everyone for being present with me today and I hope you enjoyed the channeling from Archangel Metatron and such, um, such an important message I feel. I recognize the doubt and the distrust in my own being, especially at this time and it seems um, that it is heightened more than it has ever been before. And I feel often it's in the our spiritual selves that we often distress or we're not able to trust our essence, our divinity quite so easily. So let's transform that doubt and access a greater trust in ourselves and our souls. 
have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Bye.